Hello, everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I just want to bring you an update because I did cover um, the last week sometime, I believe it was about a week ago, maybe, that I had touched on Gretchen Fleming's case and the police did do an interview. So I'm going to show you that um, after this one and they've put out information about um, a car that they want people to look for, right? So let me push play on this one for you guys and uh, we'll get going here. Parkersburg police announcing they have a person of interest in the investigation regarding Gretchen Fleming. Police will not confirm the name, but Eyewitness News has learned through several sources the person of interest is 55-year-old Preston Pierce. Yeah, Fleming went missing December 3rd. Now, police say she was last seen leaving the My Way Lounge and Restaurant with that person of interest. And police did say early on that person had Fleming in his car that night. Now, here's what we know so far about the investigation. Police say they have a search warrant for his car, home electronic devices, and other places he may rent or own. They're looking at photos sent to, to us by officers of the car in question. Now, they want anyone who lives in that area to review their secure home security systems to see if this car is in any of the footage from early morning hours of December 4th through noon on the 5th. Let's go over what we can see about the car that might help it stand out to you. Now, it's a black Nissan Rogue Sport. We don't know the year, but it seems to be fairly newer model. From this photo of the back, there's a Pittsburgh Penguins vanity plate cover. Now, one distinct thing that might show up on your home footage, both sides of the car have these Darth Vader decals on the backseat windows. As you can see in the photos, it's above the gas door and on the other side as well. And one more close-up of the car, we can see an Outer Bank sticker on the left side of the rear windshield. So again, police are asking anyone in the Parkersburg area, especially if you live around the My Way Bar and Grill, just check your security footage from early morning on December 4th through noon on December 5th. If the car we showed you shows up in that footage, please contact police. We have the number right here on your screen. It's 304-424-8444. And if you have any other information that could help in this investigation, please call investigators. Right, so that's... That's a pretty good step, right? And having the public say if they have seen the vehicle during that time frame and um, where, right? I mean, where did you see it? Who was in it? Was it only a man or did you see both of them in there? So I wish that it didn't take this long, but we don't know why it took this long, right? I mean, it just... That's just sometimes how things go. Uh, sometimes with the court, it's going to take time. Sometimes they just didn't simply have the information, didn't know. Um, there wasn't a probable cause for there to even be reason, like now that they have the warrant. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then this is the one that uh, I'll play for you that they, um, they talk to the police a little bit. We do want to turn now to the mysterious disappearance of a woman in West Virginia, 28-year-old Gretchen Fleming, vanishing nearly a month ago. And investigators say she was last seen in the early morning hours of December 4th, leaving a lounge in the city of Parkersburg. Police have identified a person of interest. And joining us live with the latest on where that investigation stands tonight is Parkersburg Police Chief Matthew Board. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And Chief Gretchen was last seen on December 4th. Her family did not report her missing until December 12th. Did they share with you why they waited so long? And, and has that impacted your investigation at all? Oh, she was close with her family, but uh, as you know, uh, uh, she's 27 years old. Sometimes you just go a few days without speaking to family. So um, they didn't really feel it was strange. Um, then after speaking with, with one another, they realized that it had been some time since anybody had spoken with her, uh, December the 3rd, actually. And, and then they came to us on the 12th to report her missing. And we know within hours of her being reported missing, detectives managed to place uh, Gretchen at the My Way Lounge. What led investigators to that location so quickly? Uh, was it employees or other customers there who knew her? Well, they set up a timeline. Um, uh, you know, uh, that, that was a rather large stretch. The family had not seen her or heard from her since the third. So uh, the fact that it had been the 12th, that, that was alarming in and of itself. So um, within a very short period of time um, of it being reported, we're talking, you know, long enough for the, the initial reporting officer to complete the report. It was assigned to a detective, so they began working on it. Um, 
through their investigation, they were set, able to set up a, a very consistent timeline, a time frame where she had traveled throughout that day and ultimately were unable to to locate anybody that had spoken to her since the early morning hours of December the 4th. And we know there is a person of interest in this case. What can you share with us about this person and how were you able to identify them? Uh, just through the investigative leads, um, Parkersburg is a very close community. Uh, we've had a lot of people reach out and a lot of people be forthcoming. Um, that's, that, that, that's a luxury we have here that a lot of places don't. So once they were able to, to get to the My Way Lounge through establishing that timeline, um, through surveillance footage, um, speaking with people there, people sending us tips, um, we were able to, to pretty well zero in on a, a person of interest that we needed to, to speak with. What is this person saying about the night of her disappearance, and are there any inconsistencies so far? Initially, um, within 24 hours, our investigators did speak with him. Um, in that time, he, he did confirm that um, Gretchen did leave the My Way Lounge with him. He provided a ride, um, but then it became very inconsistent in regard to where they parted ways. Um, we've furthered the timeline and the time that, that we believe that they may have been together with other surveillance videos, things of that nature, that, that has the, the, the vehicle that, that we've provided you um, photos of traveling in the direction, at least towards uh, the person of interest residence. Um, he has denied she was ever there, but um, once again, it, it was very inconsistent. Can you share with us why this person has not been charged yet? Well, we, we don't have uh, um, the, the, a crime. It's still an investigation. We're, we're still looking for Gretchen. Um, we do not want to speculate. Um, still hoping that there's a positive resolution to this. Um, quite honestly, the investigation is flowing, but we are at a point that we are, are comfortable saying that we believe this person of interest has more information that, that he could provide us and that we would like to have, but we have not gotten. And a very last question for you in just about 20 seconds. What have you learned about Gretchen during the course of this investigation? What kind of person was she? She was loved by people that she knew well, and she was loved by people that she just had chance encounters with in regard to maybe just an acquaintance from high school or somebody that she, you know, worked a, a little while with. She had a lasting impression on every everyone that she came into contact with. I've met with her grandmother, her grandfather, her father, various cousins, and, and they just... They're, they're devastated as I would be, and, and we're, we're working hard. Our detectives are, are, are doing a tremendous job to, to try to get them some answers and get them peace and get Gretchen home. Yeah, I appreciate the update. Chief Matthew Board, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I really hope that somebody realizes that they did see the vehicle, right? And they're like, oh, I did, I did. Let me call in a tip. I hope that there's more because at this point, I don't know if he's going to talk. I, I don't know. Um, and it seems as though he's the one that would have the information. He's the one that was with her. And, you know, if he's getting his stories changing and that's not good. That's not good. I mean, may, you could hope that maybe with the changing of a story somewhere in there, you can find some, some things that might put them in the right direction. Uh, I'm curious whether he has lawyered up or not, though, right? Because um, he had spoke with them, but is he still? Um, that's kind of what I'm wondering. And then um, this is another uh, video that had been put out in regards to it as well. New tonight, the Parkersburg Police Department has provided WTAP with more details on Gretchen Fleming's disappearance. If you have video surveillance, Parkersburg Police Chief Matthew Board encourages you to look for this car in your footage. He says to check footage from late night December 3rd through December 5th. If you see the car in your footage, contact Detective Zimmerman at 304-424-1072. During after hours, you can call 304-424-8444. Chief Board says they believe the person of interest took Fleming to their residence. The person of interest originally told officials that they gave Fleming a ride and she departed at an unknown location. However, Chief Board says the story was inconsistent and additional surveillance footage led them to believe the person of interest took her to their residence. Officials have executed search warrants on the person of interest residence, car, electronic devices, and a storage building. Chief Board says law enforcement spoke with the person of interest in the beginning of the investigation but they are no longer giving police information.
Okay, and then I'm also going to take you off that one and I will show you this. This is one in regards to the reward that the family is offering. She's so beautiful. The family of missing woman Gretchen Fleming is offering a monetary reward for information related to her disappearance. Fleming's family is offering an award of up to $15,000 $7,500 to anyone who provides substantial information leading to Fleming's current physical location and return and an additional $7,500 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of anyone involved in Fleming's disappearance. Anyone with information regarding the disappearance of Gretchen Fleming should contact Detective Zimmerman at 304-424-1072. Okay, and then the last one here is just a article that I'll read to you. It says basically the same information, right? But it does have the, the picture of the car here. And I believe I clicked it the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of interesting because I totally missed this Darth Vader here um, on it when I was grabbing the pictures for the thumbnail. I, I clearly was not paying attention. I was actually, yeah, honestly, looking at this right here. This scuff mark right here is what I was looking at for whatever reason. But And then it goes to say, Parkersburg police have released photos of a person of interest vehicle in connection with the disappearance of a young Vienna woman. The vehicle, a black Nissan Rogue, is owned by an unnamed person, which the very first video did name him, of interest in the case. Police are seeking more information on its movements from December 3rd through the 5th of 2022. Gretchen Fleming, 28, was last seen leaving the My Way Lounge restaurant in Parkersburg with the person of interest in the early morning hours of December 4th, according to police. Police Chief Matthew Board told Metro News last week they have a person of interest in the case but would not reveal the person's identity because they have not been charged with a crime. Board told the Parkersburg News in Centennial Friday that officers have spoken to the individual, but he is not communicating with police. Police told the newspaper Fleming got into his vehicle, but she exited prior to going to his home. I don't know about that. I, I, I don't know, right? This is like not good, right? Oh, man. Uh, the department has executed search warrants on the person of interest residence, car, and electronic devices, including a secondary location. Fleming's purse and phone have been recovered by police, but it's unclear where and when those items were found. Fleming's family reported her missing December 12th. Police have obtained surveillance footage from the My Way Lounge of Fleming leaving the bar with the person of interest. Fleming's family is now offering a $15,000 reward in the case. Half the money is being offered for information leading to Fleming's whereabouts and her return home. The other half is for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person involved with her disappearance. I think personally, that's, that's like really smart. That's a very smart, instead of putting all the money in one direction um, or including it, right, for this amount of money, if you do this, this, and this, right? It's, I think this is smart. The GoFundMe page has been set up to help find Fleming or a GoFundMe page. And anyone with information is asked to contact the lead detective, James Zimmerman at 304-424-1072 or the Park Parkersburg Police Department at 304-424-8444. And so and that's what we have for the update. But I, I just want to make sure that I at least um, let you guys know because I, I did um, cover her and I would like to get this information out and maybe hopefully somebody recognizes that they had seen this car, they remember it and um, can give some kind of tip that will lead the police in the right direction to find her and maybe they can find out what happened, right? Uh, what's going on. And so uh, continue to pray for the family, please. And if any other updates come out, I will let you all know. But I hope that you guys have a good one and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.